All right, so now we've uh, talked about why my style of SEO is a little different. It seems to be very effective for newer people, especially to SEO, and really just uh, ac- across the board. Uh, it's you know it's produced over a thousand success stories now, and that's just simplifying. You know, not paying attention to the smoke and mirrors, not focusing on two hundred ranking factors, but really getting it down to five to ten core concepts. All right, and there's really like five rules of on page I follow, five main rules of on page, and then just one off page rule. And then there's a couple side rules that I want to tell you guys because you guys are beginners. The more advanced SEO people, I don't have to mention this too, so you may not see that in advanced training. Since you guys are complete beginners, I want to make sure you understand these these couple other points. So here they are right here. Here's kind of like my core concepts I follow. And these are kind of like just some like some bonus tips for you guys that you should be aware of. Again, anyone that's been in SEO for a little bit is already aware of these, so you won't hear these mentioned in more advanced training. So number, I'll start with these, then we'll, we'll go to the actual more technical stuff that you have to do. But what I can tell you is, if you follow what I have laid out here, just these kind of like seven, I guess, what, what is it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points. If you follow these eight points, I can guarantee you that you can pretty much rank for whatever you want. Now, of course, the really competitive terms that make millions of dollars are going to take a lot of time, a lot of investment, but all you need to do is focus on these things and you will rank for it if you have the investment for it, okay? But like the easier terms, like you know, when you're doing client work and smaller affiliate sites, even sites that do like a few grand a month or even 10, 20 grand a month, this is going to work for you. This is going to get you to rank for whatever you want. These example sites I showed you where I'm ranking number one for Miami SEO above the maps only follow these core concepts I'm about to teach you. I didn't look, I didn't pay attention to anything else, nothing else, okay? I didn't pay attention to social signals and Facebook and optimizing images and blah, 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 blah. I didn't pay attention to any of that. The only thing I paid attention to was right here. This is it, okay? It's the only things I pay attention to. Same thing with this, with the, these two sites here, number one, number two for Delaware SEO, number one in the maps. Only things I focused on were these right here. I did not focus on these 200 ranking factors. I focused on about six with kind of like two key points here or kind of two key rules that beginners need to be aware of, all right? So just please understand that and take that seriously and trust that this works and it will make your SEO career uh, so much more uh, easy and quick and you'll take off so much quicker, you'll make so much more money, and you'll do so much better, okay? So let's go into these things. Let's bring this up. Now, before I cover kind of like the more technical stuff, let's cover these two key points. And again, you won't see this in the more advanced training because it's kind of common sense to them because they've been around longer. But to you newbies, I wanted to make sure this is very clear. So number one is don't use duplicate content, all right? So what that means is don't just copy someone else's content and put it up on your site. That's not good, okay? You don't want to do that. You want to come up with totally unique content. And if you ever want to find out if content is, def- is definitely unique or not, there's a tool I use called Copyscape. And it's like five cents per search. So let's type this in. So it's very cheap to use. And you can run any content in here or URL and make sure it doesn't appear anywhere else in the web. Okay. So what I can do is I can copy this article. You know, let's say I just put up that article and I wanted to see if it was um, anywhere else on the web. It will do a search. So I need to override that. And you'll see it's not anywhere else on the web, it's just in this, on this bookmarking site. So it's just listed on this site, but no one else is using my content, okay? But again, you would do this just before you put up the article. So basically, so if I had this article, here's my article for Delaware, SEO, OMG, whatever it is. So I'm just gonna copy this article, go to Copyscape. So let's say I was just putting this up. Maybe I ordered this article from an article writer. So I wanna make sure that it's, it's not just copied somewhere else. Like, I wanna make sure no one else has this article. Okay, it's un- I want to make sure it's unique. So I'm going to paste it in here. I can paste my whole article in there or a URL, whatever you want to do. Premium search. And the only site that comes up is mine. Okay, that's because I already posted it. But usually it'll say no results found. And the reason for that is because no one else on the web has it. Right. So, for example, if I do a search for this, I say this is my article. This is what I want to see. I want to see no results found. 
Uh, it says error, but usually it would say no results found on the internet. That's what you want to see. What you don't want to see is let's say that I get an article. So let's see. Oh, they got a they got a nice, they got an error. Whatever. What you don't want to do is get an article and run it through here and have other sites show up where that article is already out there. You just want your content to be totally unique. Okay. You don't want it to be copied from anywhere. You want unique content. All right. So that's rule number one. Don't use do. Don't just copy other people's content. And put it on your website. Come up with your own unique content. All right. The other thing, plain and simple, proper spelling and grammar. Okay. Don't have uh, spelling and grammar mistakes because the reason for that is that is something that a computer can detect. All right, a computer doesn't have to think for that; it can just be programmed. Uh, a a well-programmed computer, which Google is, can detect spelling and grammar errors. And if you have spelling and grammar errors, that can affect your rankings. All right, so this is one thing that you definitely want to pay attention to: is proper spelling and grammar. Now, let me show you something really quick to dive deeper into proving to you that Google or showing you how Google can't think, um, but it's more just an algorithm. Okay, so let's see, let's do the dog was tired. He laid down. He went to sleep. He slept a while. He woke up. All right, so that's a pretty boring and uh, poorly written uh, kind of paragraph there, I guess you could say. Um, the dog was tired. He laid down. He went to sleep. He slept a while. He woke up. But it has proper spelling, has proper pronunciation, it has proper uh, grammar, um, and a computer would not be able to tell this sentence from something like this. All right, so a computer cannot tell the difference between which of these two is better, this one or this one. Now for me and you, that's very easy to determine which is better, okay? It's very easy to determine that this is better than this one right here. This one is just horribly written, it's boring, it's no good, but guess what? A computer can't tell that because there's no spelling errors and there's no grammar errors, all right? Uh, it can't tell this is any better because it doesn't have an opinion. Now, so how would they tell, just going back to search results, this is kind of taking a step backwards, but you know, well, whatever, this ties in. So if a site had this up for their content and a site has this up for their content, how's the computer going to determine which is better? How are they going to determine? By these things right here, okay, by all this stuff. That's how they determine it. And that's why you want to get proper spelling and grammar because that is something they can detect. That's something that can hurt you, but they can't determine quality of content necessarily. Okay, They can't tell that this is not as good as this right here. What determines that is all this right here and then really this right here. So let me give you an example. If these all have the same title and URL and htag, kind of the same on-page optimization or what they're doing on their website, but let's say 10 people that are really, you know, there are 10 people that are have dog sites um, are linking to this property right here. Google's going to think this is the better, the better one out of the two. Why? Because they're op all of this is the same. Like they have the same titles, the same H tags, the same meta descriptions, you know, same like keywords in the same places. But if 10 people are linking to this that have dog sites and none are linking to this one right here, Guess one. Guess which one Google thinks is better? This one. Why? Because people are linking to it with relevant links. All right. Now, this one. Uh, let's say even. Let's even bring links out of the picture. Okay. Let's even say that this one right here. The title talks about cats and you know like uh, 
just like random stuff. Like the, you know, the title talks about cats. The URL for some reason doesn't have dogs in it. You know, their H tags are not putting keywords in there. Guess what? Even without this right here, even without people linking to it, just with this stuff here, if this one is optimized better, if they have the right keywords in the right places, Google thinks this is better. Why? Because it's optimized better for the stuff that matters. All right. So that's kind of just a lesson about like how Google works, like a further lesson about how Google works and how Google can't think. Google just goes off what it's programmed to do. And 99% of their algorithm looks at this right here, what's highlighted. Okay, of course you wanna get things right like this and like this, proper spelling, proper grammar, don't copy other people's content, but the majority of what you're looking at is right here, okay? And if you get this stuff right, they can't tell that this is no better than this right here, okay? Um, or, or that it's worse, no worse than this right here. So I mean, if you go back, because really what Google wants is the top, they, they want the best um, content to be up top. They want the best search results to be up top. So let me show you another one of my sites, uh, best Latin dating sites, okay? It's an example site I've used many times. It makes a couple hundred bucks a month, it's just a small site. But again, this content isn't great. Like this looks okay. Remember how I said most of my sites look very uh, generic? Look at this site, very generic, right? It still makes a couple, few hundred bucks a month. Anyways, not the greatest content. Like I should do a lot better. It's just an example site. But the best content is supposed to be the, you know, the number one result. I don't have the best content. If we go back, I can guarantee you that uh, these guys right here have much better content. Look how much better this looks. You know, it's better, it's longer. Okay, it's kind of, it's, it's more organized, it looks more professional. It's probably well, more well written, but guess what? I got this stuff right here better. I did better at this stuff right here than this property did, so I win the spot. It's not because my content's better, and that's what Google, Google wants people to think that the people with better content rank higher, that's not how it works. What, we're, how, what works is whoever gets all this stuff right Whoever gets this stuff better wins. Okay, and that's exactly what's happening right here. Let's go to the next result. Or the ones about right behind me, NBC News. You know, they obviously have a very authoritative site. Uh, their content actually kind of stinks. Uh, I don't let, like their content. They're number two just based off them being such a big site. So let's skip them. Let's go to the next guys I'm beating out, Latin American Cupid. This is an official dating site. This is a really good one, all right? This is like an official Latin dating site, and I'm beating them out. Do you think my content's better than theirs and more authoritative than theirs? No. But let me tell you what happened. I got this stuff better than they did. Okay, I got this stuff right better than they did. So let's go look at this. Let's go look at these side by side, okay? So notice our search term is best Latin dating sites, okay? Um, and this is kind of going into examples, which I was going to do next video, but we'll still go into more examples. So this is for the search term, best Latin dating sites, all right? Actually, before we go into this, let me cover some of these rules. So my rules outside of don't use duplicate content and have proper spelling and grammar are get your keywords in your URL, okay? So either in your domain name or in an inner URL. And what I mean by an inner URL is like this part right here, like anything after your domain name. Your domain name, whoops. So this is their inner URL. Their domain name is NBCNews.com, okay? So if you don't have the keyword in your domain name, get it in your inner URL, all right? So that's, that's what I mean by have your keywords in your URL. Also, you wanna have your keywords in your title, and that's the title of your page. We went over how to change titles earlier in the series. I'll go over it again, okay? So that's next is keywords and title. Keywords and H tags. Remember, H tags are the bigger text on your page. So you wanna have keywords in your H tags. Keywords in your meta description. That is this section right here. Kind of like what your um, site says. I don't worry as much about that, but it does matter still, okay? Uh, the, the big ones are these two right here. These are the two major ones you wanna get correct. These right here are kind of bonuses, okay? And then next is, this is more like a rule um, just for safety, so you don't get over-optimized. 
don't overuse keywords in your content. So on your actual page, what I mean is I, I wouldn't want to keep saying best date and Latin, best Latin dating sites. I wouldn't want to keep saying Latin dating sites. I wouldn't want to keep saying you know dating sites. Don't just keep repeating the same keywords over and over and over and over again. Use them, if anything, less in the actual content. And this is the actual content, all this stuff. Now these are H tags, that does, I don't count that as the actual content. I'm talking about this smaller text, okay? Be safe and use your keywords less in the content, which is like the smaller text, all right? And then the last rule is get relevant links. This is the big one, probably the biggest one. Once you learn SEO and you kind of master these five rules of on-page SEO, so to speak, that, like this stuff will become somewhat automatic. Besides, you know, a few things. You may have a few questions here and there. This is what really makes the difference because this is easy to get right. It's easy to get your keywords in your either your in your URL, in your title, in your H tags, in your meta description, and then not using keywords and content. You can master that pretty easily. The relevant links is the big one because that's what can really make the big difference, and we'll cover that in you know in a little bit. All right, but now that you understand that, so I should actually say keywords in URL title H tags meta description and then of course don't you ever use keywords content and get relevant links All right, those are kind of like the major rules so considering that let's go back and let's look at these search results alright so let's go type in best Latin dating sites again All right, and let me copy this I'm gonna do it in another window we're gonna compare them side by side okay so let's look at the differences here All right, let's let's take um, let's just do between me and number four. Okay, so we both got our home page ranking, so we can compare my home page to their home page, right? And this search term, notice we're searching, so let's write this out. So we're searching best Latin dating sites. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So my site, okay, let's do my five rules. So my URL, I have best Latin dating sites.com. So I have it in my domain, okay, which is even more powerful than having it in an URL. So it's more powerful to have a keyword as your domain name than it is to have it on an inner URL. But sometimes you, you need to put it on an inner URL because you have a bigger site and you can't just stuff all the keywords in your home page, you know, um, unless you're doing a smaller site like this where I kind of did that. But a lot of times you're creating a site more like this where it's like a site about dating, then you would have to put that exact term on your inner URL. Well, that's that's for down the road, okay? But just just understand that having it in your domain is more powerful than having it on your inner URL. But if you don't have it in your domain, just make sure it's on the inner URL, okay? But just comparing them, mine I have in my I have it in my URL, I have the exact keyword here in my domain best Latin dating sites, okay? Actually, let me let me do have this in my domain name best Latin dating sites, okay? So let's now go to the next most important thing, the title. What's my title? Best Latin dating sites, top Latino dating site reviews. Okay, so that's my title for 2019. And then let's go to my H tags. Let's see, do I have, and H tags aren't as important, but they do still, they, they matter enough for I want to list them. Let's see, do I have it in any H tags? I probably have it in an H1 tag right here, so it's in an H1. Let's see. I got Latino dating, so I have a variation in H tags. So, you know, I got some stuff in my H tags. And I got online dating in an H tag. All right, so I have some similar words in H tags, all right? So H tags, I do have it, so I have an H1 tag where I have you know my exact keyword and I have some H2 tags where I have like online dating and Latin dating okay so next is my meta description this is even less important but I still want to list it because it's important enough where you want to do it like I said I'm kind of lazy with this where I don't fill it out all the time with this one I don't know if I did let's see yeah, with this and I didn't even fill it out. I let them pull it from my thing, but I still have Hispanic dating site in my in my meta description, which is a synonym for Latin dating sites. Okay, so I have Hispanic dating site, and then the last thing is don't use or the last two things. 
don't overuse keywords and content. I didn't do that. Okay, so I didn't. Let's just, and let's assume they didn't either, right? So let's take this one out. So this one wouldn't count for this one. Let's assume they didn't overuse either. And last thing is relevant links. So relevant links, I have very relevant links. I'm just gonna tell you that, okay? So let's compare it to their site now. All right, so what's their URL? Uh, Latin American Cupid, okay? Eh, okay. So what's their title? Latin dating and singles at latinamericancupid.com. And actually one other thing I should add up here is anchor text, but that's that's for later down the road. Okay. Anchor text is basically what your links say, and we'll, we'll cover that later. That's just something that uh, I wanted to put up there too. All right, so Let's see, their title is Latin Dating and Singles at Latin America. Uh, what, what's their H, do they have anything in H tag? Let's go check. All right, Latin Beauty, so they, they do decent with H tags. Um, Latin Dating, so they're, they're actually doing good with H tags. So they got Latin Beauty, uh, Latin Dating. Anything else? But that's good. So good. Looks like Latin Beauty's in an H1. And then Latin Dating's in an H2, it looks like. All right. And then their meta. Let's see what they have for that. They got Latin Dating site in there, so they did go with that. But again, that's lower on the important scale, remember? They got Latin Dating site. And then we're assuming they didn't overuse, and then relevant links, um, probably not as relevant as mine. <laughs> I can I can guarantee you that. I actually know that for a fact because I've looked at their links. So not as relevant as mine. I'll just say not probably. I know it. Okay. So let's compare these two things. All right. We're not looking at the other 200 ranking factors. We're looking at my few core concepts. Let's see who wins this battle. Okay. So who wins the URL battle or the you know keyword in URL? Well, I have this exact term in my title, best Latin dating sites. They have, or in my URL, I'm sorry, they have Latin. I win that one. Okay, that's a very important one too. Let's go to the next most important one, title. I have best Latin dating sites in my title and top Latino dating site reviews, okay, which is a synonym. They have Latin dating. All right, so I'm much more specific. They do identify Latin dating, but I have specifically best Latin dating sites. I'm being more specific. Okay, remember, Google reads. They can't think. They can't read this and say, oh, well, this site's also about the best Latin dating sites. They can figure that out through some other stuff, but if they actually read that it's about best Latin dating sites and then there's links that back that up, they know that's about best Latin dating sites. Okay, so hopefully you're starting to get the picture here. Let's go to H tags. Now we're getting lower on the important scale. These are the two big ones, but H tags can still help you out. Uh, again, I have best Latin dating sites exactly. Online dating and Latin dating. They have Latin beauty and Latin dating. So I did a little better job there too. I've, I've beat them on three of three now, okay? Let's go to meta description again, lower on importance. I got a Hispanic dating site, they have Latin dating site, eh, they might have a little edge there, but again, meta is not nearly as important, so not a big deal. And then I have more relevant links, okay? I have less links, but I have very relevant links, okay? Basically, my links are talking about Latin dating sites and best Latin dating sites very specifically, and I'll cover this later on in training. Okay. The links part is a little more advanced. We're going to cover that a little later. Just know that my links are very relevant. So when you compare these two sites, whose content's better? Theirs. Okay. Their content's better. They have a very nice website. You know, they have registration. You can log in. They're, you know, it's it's very trustworthy. It's it's a big it's a it's an actual service. It would probably, you know, people probably want to see this more than my site, but what is my site? Why is my site winning? Why is this why is this beating that? Well, it's because I'm beating them at all this stuff, okay? I'm beating them in the URL, I'm beating them at the title, I'm beating them at the H tag, meta description we're pretty similar on, and I'm beating them at the links. 
What I mean by beating them is I'm being more descriptive. I'm giving Google something they can read, okay? They can read my sites about best Latin dating sites. They can read my site. They can read, they can read. This site, eh, yeah, I mean, they can tell us about Latin dating, they identify that well, but best Latin dating sites, they, they can't read that as much, okay? They can't read that because they don't have that exactly in as much of their important stuff as I do, and that's why I'm beating them out, okay? Now, a lot of this has to do with the links as well, like I said, probably 80% of it, but this stuff here is very important still, and being able to identify this like this exactly because Google can't think you take the thinking out for them when you identify specifically it's about best Latin dating sites it highly increases your chances of ranking for that okay so just be aware of that all right so hopefully that kind of helps you with um, uh, you know why my site with even with worse content and less credibility is out doing this you know this actual dating site it's because I'm specifically identifying that my site's about best Latin dating sites all right and when Google can read that then they can identify it better and then if they go to your links and they you know you have credible links that are relevant that also talk about that that's when you really take that top spot and we'll do more examples of this as we move on because I know this can be a lot okay so let me see what else I wanted to cover in this video all right, so the basic on-page rules, yeah. So let's just finish this off and kind of uh, recover the, the whole point of this, this video. So the basic rules that, that I follow are get your keyword in your URL, okay? So that's either gonna be in your domain or if it's not in your domain, on the inner page, all right? And this is something that you'll learn over time, but th there's certain ways you wanna set up your domains where a lot of times, like I can't, like this is a good site, best Latin day sites, it's it, it's okay to do it that way, but I can't expand, okay? So there's there's ups and downs of having, you know, best Latin dating sites.com. Latin dating sites.com. Yeah, it's very powerful for me for this term, best Latin dating sites, but the problem is I can't really expand on that, right? Like, I'm not gonna now do like, um, you know, uh, best Asian sites. Uh, on, a, on a best Latin dating sites because I'm already themed around the best Latin dating sites. So although it's very powerful for this specific term, it kind of pigeonholes me and it, it doesn't allow me to expand much and, and, and do other terms. And we'll talk about this more in the advanced section. So a lot of the times when you build a site, it's not going to be a site like this that's so specific. It may be the site like dating advice, like datingadvice.com, right? And then for your home page, you would cover, you know, just general dating advice stuff or have a general home page. And then if you want to rank for best Latin dating sites, you would create a page for best Latin dating sites. Or you could just name it Latin dating sites if you wanted. And then you would make your title like the best Latin dating sites. But we'll cover that more advanced stuff in the advanced section, okay? But that's what I mean by you want the keyword in your URL. Now you can either do like an exact match domain they call it, where you have the exact keyword as your domain name, or you know you have a site on dating, and then you put the, the keyword on your inner URL, okay? So either like this or something like this. So that's what I mean by keyword in URL. And then of course you want your keyword in your title. Now you definitely want your exact keyword in your title. So if you're trying to rank for best Latin dating sites, you want best Latin dating sites in your title because that's that's very important to do, all right? Then you want keyword variations in your H tag. So in bigger text on your page, you want to have variations of your keyword. I didn't do the greatest job with it on this site. I only have like online dating really and then the one up here, Latin dating right here. Um, but you want to just have very, some, some, some variations of your important keywords on your page. So I probably should have put like Hispanic dating, um, you know, maybe Hispanic dating websites, things like that. Just a couple of different variations, a couple of different, like different ways to say your keyword in your H tag, right? So for example, instead of best Latin dating sites, I could do like top Hispanic uh, dating websites, you know, and that's just a different way to say your keywords, and that's usually what I like to kind of throw in my H tags a little bit, right? But again, that one's not as important. The two big ones are right here: URL and title. H tag and meta not as important, but they can still help you out, and they're important enough to include here. 
And then, of course, meta description, same thing. Either include your keywords in your meta description or at least a variation of the keyword. Right here, you see a variation, Hispanic dating site instead of Latin dating site. Okay. And then the, the other kind of rule is don't overuse keywords and content. So don't just keep repeating best Latin dating sites in your content. Or even don't, don't keep repeating Latin dating sites in your content or even Latin dating. You, like a lot of people when they write their content, they try to stuff keywords called keyword stuffing where they just keep saying the keyword on the page. That's only going to hurt you. Okay. As long as the keywords on the page a couple times, you're good. All right. You'd rather underdo it than overdo it. That's my point with that statement. All right. And again, we'll go more into this and then of course get relevant links and then your anchor text, which we'll talk about later. And that's basically what your link says. Okay. And that's all kind of more advanced stuff. So, these are kind of like the, the rules you want to follow. I believe there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them here. Um, five rules of on page. Really, there's two major off page things and kind of just like a couple side notes for you. And if you follow these things, you're going to rank for whatever you want as long as you have the investment behind it. All right, and you can get the proper link. So narrow it down, focus on these things right here, block out everything else on this list. Focus on these things and your results will be through the roof, all right? So next video, what we're going to do is we're going to get some more examples of, actually, no, we're going to go over what links are and why they're important. So I'll go, I'll go a little more into linking, kind of explain anchor text and all that stuff. And then we'll go back and we'll do some examples of the basic rules in place again. And I'll probably do that with our example site, uh, Complete Beginner Workout, all right? So we'll create some new pages and we'll go into some examples. So hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll see you all soon.